the phrase history repeats itself is getting a new meaning and I don't like it. Two children and a teacher were shot by a gunman at elementary school in Townville, South Carolina. An official with Anderson County Emergency Services told reporters Wednesday afternoon. The suspected shooter, a teenager, is in custody, Deputy Chief Taylor Jones said. The father of the suspected shooter was found dead Wednesday afternoon of a gunshot wound. Anderson County Coroner Greg Shore told reporters. Shore identified the man as Jeffrey Osborne, 47. The house is about two miles from the school. The three victims at the school were struck by bullets from a handgun. Captain Garland, Mayor Major of the Anderson County Sheriff's Office said. One male student was hit in the leg and another boy was struck in the foot. The female teacher was wounded in the shoulder. It is unclear whether the alleged shooter knew any of the school victims. Major said the motive is unclear, but terrorism has been ruled out. The teacher and one student taken to AnMed Health Center are in good condition. Hospital spokesman Raj Norton told CNN the other child was taken to Greenville Health System Emergency Trauma Center by helicopter. Spokeswoman Sandy Dees said that student's condition was not known. The mother of a student at Townsville Elementary School told CNN Greenville affiliate WYFF that her daughter and classmates huddled in the bathroom. Her teacher was shaken up. I know all the kids were, stare, were scared. There, were, there was a bunch of kids crying, the unidentified woman said. She didn't talk for five minutes when I got her. I'm just so scared. I don't even want her to go to school now. The mother says she was praying for the families of the injured. The shooting occurred after 1.45 p.m., ET, officials said. Townville is in the extreme western part of the state, southwest of Greenville. Anderson County had a population of about 100, that 100, uh, 194,692. Okay, at elementary, elementary school is about 282 students. About 30 school employees are listed on the school's website. School picture day is scheduled for Friday. I don't know what that has to do with anything. Um, so I come back home after, you know, a day of doing stuff and just still doing things because my day isn't over until seven. And this is what I come home to a, a notification from CNN or Fox, or in this case, both about another shooting. And I'm all the more disturbed by this case because the shooter is, they're saying he's a teenager, um, which I still technically fall under, I'm 18. So the idea that someone around my age is capable of going and apparently shooting people he didn't know, and especially children, it, it, it really disturbs me. Um, but the other thing that kind of worries me is that I often think about, you know, where do I want to be in 10, 20 years? And, you know, the best case scenario always has me with, a child and I can't imagine the feelings I would have to know as a parent that my kid was shot by you know some random gunman that just for all we know uh, had no motive just wanted to go and shoot people for no reason and I, I think honestly if my kid lived I would I would never send them to school to be homeschooled from then and there um, because I'm very paranoid about you know weapons and the worst case scenario oftentimes and this just further scares me in that sense I know the whole thing if you have to take risk and all that but we, we still can protect people and I just feel that these kids weren't protected um, to the extent that they should have been to where gunmen's even able to get on the campus anyway and I just hope that you know the two children uh, that as far as we know are still alive I hope they recover um, as well as the teacher and that the perpetrator is, you know, gets the type of justice that this case is in need of. We don't know the full story or all the details, but regardless or not, he murdered somebody. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm, there is no doubt in my mind that the father of this, you know, Jeffrey Osborne uh, was killed by his son. So, you know, that, that's just me and I could be wrong, but I don't think so. The guy had a gun. The, you know, the dad was found dead today at, you know, of a gunshot wound right before or right after uh, or during this shooting.
it's not really that hard to piece that together. But we'll see as things happen. I just really hope I stop hearing about these. Thank you for watching and have a good day. And be safe.